Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. As you can see, we're actually back here at the uh, Zeiss Customer Center as we're slowly kind of getting ourselves back into the routine of working again. Um, we thought it would be fun to show you uh, a video blog that we did previous to the coronavirus hitting. And uh, um, so with that, uh, hope you enjoy uh, our little visit to Alan. Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. Uh, when I got here to Germany, I've been hearing a lot about uh, DAX. Uh, DAX is short for Deutsche Akkreditierungsstelle, which is a German accreditation body similar in the US to uh, A2LA. Um, so today, uh, we're here in Essingen, which is just outside of Allen, uh, at uh, a Zeiss calibration laboratory. Uh, where DAX has certified uh, us to calibrate uh, reference standards to 0.06 microns for tactile and 0.09 for optical. I'm not really sure how we do this, but we are going to find out. Let's have a look. René, the manager of the Quality uh, Calibration Lab. Uh, René, thanks for speaking Hello. with us. Hello, nice to meet you here um, in Essingen. This looks like a Xenos, which is only 0.3, only 0.3 plus L over 100. How do we get 0.06? Yes, you are right. This is a machine from the stock. And uh, to reduce this calibration uncertainty to 60 nanometers, we have to eliminate all constant errors and uh, bad influence parameters. We have, uh, for the first step, we move out all uh, sources of heatness, for example, our controller boxes. We move them in a separate room behind. And also the computer, oh, yeah, the screen please. is outside of this room. Then we have a special climatization that we are here in a measuring room class number one. This means only 0.2 Kelvin per meter or per hour, but it's not enough to reduce uh, the uncertainty to, the, to this level. Therefore, we built up a microclimber over or inside a measuring volume. Then we have a special measurement strategy and uh, so we are able to eliminate the rest errors which are still on the machine. And with a high resolution and good repeatability, so it's possible to make out of 0 0.3, 0.06. Wow, 60, 60 nanometers. Yes. Wow, that's, uh, that's amazing. Oh, okay, so that's for uh, uh, tactile. Uh, can we have a look at uh, optical? Yes, for sure. Okay, let's have Please a look. Please come. Okay, René, <laughs> this looks like a regular uh, 322, which I know is 1.9. How do we get to 0.09? Oh, it's not so different uh, because in the method, we go in the same direction like in the Xenos machine. You have to look at the climatical condition around the machine and a very good resolution of the optic. For that, you are right. The construction is like a OE322, but uh, with modification of the optic for a higher resolution. So this is special op. This, this is not your normal OI? No. Not at the moment. <laughs> okay, this is special for you, okay. Yes. Uh, and then this uh, allows us the, the capability to go all the way down to 0.09. Yes, with the special measurement strategy add-on and uh, the compensation for the temperature influences, but that's the way we come down to mm -hmm. these accuracies. 
Now this one, 0.09, and the Xenos that we saw earlier, 0.06, uh, DAX has said, uh, has certified us to, uh, to calibrate to that uh, uh, accuracy. Uh, are there a lot of labs that are able to do this? Uh? No, I, I think there is only a handful of labs here in Germany which is accredited with such small uncertainties. So I think it's uh, something special. So this is, yeah, so this is very <laughs> special, great. Well, René, thank you for uh, showing uh, this to us. Um, we really appreciate your time. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. And for you, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next Thursday. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Uh, for me, it was a trip down memory lane because it was uh, quite a, some time ago that we filmed that, but it was a fun one. Um, a small uh, message for all of you out there. We're going to take a short four-week break from the video blogs uh, because we're going to do Zeiss Innovation Rocks for the next four weeks. Um, so uh, if you miss me, uh, please make sure to join us every Tuesday and Thursday because I'll actually be a part of that as well. Uh, but feel free to join us as we um, put that content out to you. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope you continue to stay healthy and we will see you next time. Bye. Measuring Hero Award 2020 is live. Go out and apply and vote now.